What's up guys, The Duck Opinion here today, and guess what we are covering? Vice City for iTouch and mobile iOS, iOS and Android devices. This is running on a uh, three, third generation iTouch, and I want to get the new ones, but you know what? I don't got no money, so I'm going to turn it up here, Rockstar Games, and we're going to see how good Vice City runs on a third generation. Oh, it crashed already. No, I'm kidding. Some in, you know, just intro stuff. Advertising, who made it? So, we're going to kind of skip the intro and stuff. You guys can, you know, look up YouTube intro to Vice City 10 year anniversary. I'm sure it's the same one. But let's give this a try. Tap to continue. Alright, so let's, uh... See what settings they have really quick before we start. Give me a second. Controls, audio. Okay. I just really, excuse my fingers. I just really need to turn this sound off. It's mainly what I was really caring about. And turn the brightness off. Okay. So, let's uh, give it a start and see how everything looks and see how everything runs on Grand Theft Auto Vice City. 10 year anniversary. And y'all excuse this not being HD. My HD webcam cannot pick up iTouch as well. So I'm just going to use the one that I usually use. It's a camcorder. A little Sony one. A little cheap little $60 camcorder. But hell it records this. Doesn't look too bad. Especially for like just the first look and some random stuff. I'm honestly not going to do like a huge let's play on this. I'm just going to record some cool videos. Show you guys and probably play it a lot if it runs correctly. So Liberty City. 1986. AKA Tony. I saw that live. So if you guys don't remember Vice City, it was the um the second third person game that the Rockstar made for Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto 3 came out, it was like the first open world sandbox, and then Vice City came up to follow it, and it did a really good job. Looks pretty good for an HD remake. I should go play it on PC and do a side by side comparison. Vice City Docks. It's really cool to be able to ride choppers and such in here. I hope it runs good though. So I know I got that version 3 iPod. Okay, that's them in the I can buy it though. Right, it can run good, deal. I'm sure. Stay tight. Of course. Got it? One hundred percent pure grade A Colombian, my friend. Let me see it. The greens, tens and twenties. Used. I think we have a deal, my friend. <laughs> oh, shit. Ooh, sharp graphics. Here in almost 2013 on our mobile devices. Very interesting. I can't wait to get some planes and get some footage of all that stuff too. I'm gonna I'm gonna cover this game pretty well. Show off, you know, just some flying vehicles, some gameplay here and there. It's gonna be fun. 
and after five minutes of recording, we're going to play. Well, welcome back to Vice City. So, did I say Vice City? I was right. Touch anywhere on the screen to move. These look like the exact same controllers from uh, Grand Theft Auto 3. So let's see how it runs. No. So far, so good. It's running like Grand Theft Auto 3. like that. It was a little laggy, but not too bad. Yeah, it's about running how Grand Theft Auto 3 did. I was hoping it wouldn't run worse. You gotta just remember, it's a third gen eye touch. I'm sure on your, you guys' fancy mobile devices, they'll run a little bit better. <clears throat> it's saying a lot of stuff, like how to handbrake, but the only thing we want to know is how to beat up a hooker and run over old people. Change the camera angles, that's good. Alright, it seems, I mean, it does, I don't know. It's a little bit laggy, but it's not too bad, I don't think. I mean, you always gotta compensate lag with it when it comes to mobile for me, at least. It's a fast car, I like it. Ah, fuck you, cop. Hey, look at this, our first cop chase. Feels good to be back in Vice City. It feels really much like Grand Theft Auto 3, though. It really does. I'm really used to Vice City though, it might be one thing. It's always, you know, not as fresh when you get on a map that you already know so well from your past. Yeah, there wouldn't be a heli there, I wouldn't imagine. It does feel nice though, I feel like I'm playing Far Cry 3 but on mobile. <laughs> I kid, I kid, I just actually got done recording a part for Far Cry 3, did the pirate ship part, but um... Not sure how far I am when you actually see this. I'll probably post this the next day or tonight whenever I render this on up there because, you know, it's Grand Theft Auto Vice City footage. Just came out a little while ago. Like, seriously, though, I checked it and it didn't say it was out. And then I checked Twitter like one minute later and then it, it was out. I, I searched again on my iTunes and it was there. So I got it like the moment it came out. So we're just, we're just exploring Vice City. It's looking nice. Here's the um, hospital. There's the other city. Well, parts of it. You know, it does look like Miami in real life. I mean, I live in Florida, and I've been all up and down Florida, so... I've been to Miami a few times. I'm <laughs> like three or four. And it does look similar to Miami, but Miami, Miami has a lot more buildings, of course. But I guess I kind of want to come over here and just... I don't know. I want to see if they have this tool shed that I used to go to all the time over here. I don't think anything's going to change for 10 year anniversary but the fact that it's, you know, better graphics. And a different logo. Yeah, there it is. The tool, the tool shed. Cool. So we need to get some weapons and start beating people up like good, you know, Grand Theft Auto people. So let's never, do this. Never do that again, this drunk guy seems like he can get, use a beating. Maybe I can use a beating. <laughs> Tommy um, Vitetti, you think he a badass. Yeah, you got 20 bucks from that. Grand Theft Auto. Beating people in the face and getting money for it. Happening now and happening 10 years ago. Beating old ladies up. Stealing their money. Oh, I missed this game. <laughs> Where'd you learn to be so stupid? <laughs> Alright, so let's lag our happy asses over here. Yeah, my pie definitely has to play catch up, but I think it runs it decently. Alright, I would like a weapon, sir. If I can ever get in the spot with these terrible mobile controllers. Screwdriver, $10. Hammer, $20. War Z, Thirty dollars. Right, let's get a hammer. Let's do it. Uh, let's do it. Um, War Z style. You guys watch my War Z let's plays. What are you doing? Come on, get out of here. Tap to exit. There we go. Okay. So we have a hammer now. Let's go beat people in the face with a hammer. <laughs> the new name of this let's play. 
Everyone, it's okay. I have a hammer. <laughs> Lady, you aren't waiting for a bus. You're taking a hammer to the face. This works a lot better than it does on War Z. Holy shit. Look at this zombie. They have zombies in Grand Theft Auto. Kill the zombie. Come back here, zombie. I wasn't done with you yet. Man, I lost that zombie. There he is. I was so scared I was going to start the zombie apocalypse and lose this guy, but I got him. Oh, nothing, Sheriff. Nothing's going on. I'm just casually chasing this guy. But the thing about it is he's not a guy. He's a zombie. He can run fast, too. He's one of those fast-running zombies. Yeah. Fuck you, zombie. Fuck you. Anyway, enough zombie killing. We did this for 11 minutes. That is our first look at Grand Theft Auto Vice City. So I'm going to play a little bit, then I'm going to record some more. And I'll show you guys a little bit more of this, and I'll hopefully get a copper soon and show you how to do all the great stuff in this game. And uh, it's cool. It's fun. It's nice to be back in Vice City on mobile. It's like we're looking at it in less quality now on a smaller screen in 2012, almost 2013. Technology's going backwards. Shit. Talk to you guys later. Peace.